Hi, it's Kip K for Make Magazine, and today we're going to take an ordinary flatbed scanner and turn it into a scanner camera that takes some pretty wild photos. So join me as we build this fun little photo imaging device on this week's Weekend Project. You can find the scanner camera project in Make Volume 14 by Mike Golombuski. I used a Canon scanner, CanoScan 25, for this project, and the first step is to remove the cover. Then you need to measure the size of the scanner glass for our baseboard, which will be made out of foam core. The project calls for three-quarter inch, but I couldn't find any of that, so I measured out three pieces of three-sixteenth inch black foam core, and then using some spray adhesive, glued them together to give them some thickness. And then you're going to cut out out of the center a 7 inch by 7 inch square hole. Then we need to make two boxes that will be used for focusing, one a little bit larger than the other. So cut out four pieces that are the size of your 7 inch square hole. And then we're going to tape those together. I used some black gaffers tape which seemed to work best and gave it all a nice clean black look. And then I cut out four more pieces, slightly larger than the original box, and taped those together. And that should slide snugly over the first box. Now the top for the outside box needs to have a hole cut in it, three and a half inches in diameter. And then we need to assemble our lens board. Our lens will consist of an ordinary magnifying glass, and we're going to cut a hole the size of the magnifying glass in a six inch by six inch square piece of foam core. And then tape the magnifying glass in place. The lens board is then inserted in the top of our outside board cover, and that is taped in place. Now the final step is to make a couple of aperture cards. These are basically just black cardstock with some different size holes cut in them. And then they're placed over the magnifying glass to control the amount of light that goes into our scanner camera. Then the camera is assembled by taping our new housing to the scanner. After some focus adjustments, you'll end up with some pretty interesting photos, and I took a number of different scenes that are fairly well lit, and I also tried different size aperture cards for different results. The scanner camera has many of the same functions as a regular camera. In our case, the two boxes, one outside the other, uh, controls our focal length. And then we have our little magnifying glass, which serves as the lens, and our little square cutout templates with the holes in them that controls the iris or how much light goes into the scanner camera. Now by adjusting all of these parameters and playing around with the software that comes with the scanner, you can get some pretty wild results. So that's how to make a scanner camera. And we'll see you next time with another weekend project. <laughs>